My name is Zach Hardy, and this is Holy Cross Crusader Franchise Mode Part 12, if I'm not mistaken. Now, you may be wondering why we're in this screen, the League Sliders, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. But if you would like to see what my frustrations were um, with the previous slider settings, which were absolutely difficult as a mother or er, and unrealistic, I set it to be unrealistic, and so that way I'd have a harder time. But I figured out very quickly over the past you know nine weeks of gameplay that uh, the games became unwinnable. Well, they became winnable, but they be the defense was absolutely incapable of stopping the offense. All right, and my offense would be hit with bullshit all the time. Now, let me tell you this. My player skills, from the past couple of weeks, I know I never showed them to you, but I and I'm sorry for that, but you know what? After the last game that you can see if you go to my Twitch channel under the video section, it's the first Holy Cross Crusaders part 12, franchise mode part 12 video. Uh, if you would like to see my frustration and what it was, you can go back to the last episode. Okay, player skill for mine, almost everything was in around 40 to 30, 35 to 40, all right? And it was, it was around like 40 to 45 or so. And it was to make it more realistic for myself. And the CPU skill was anywhere between 75 and 80, which is difficult as shit. And I'm surprised I could keep them to field goals sometimes. There would be points in time where I'd just fucking give up and let it and let it be at that. But now, now I decided, you know what, we need to make it more realistic. So what I did was, I went back and I researched my DSFL, my Dream Season Football League sliders, where it was realistic to the point where I'd have a hard time, but it wouldn't be impossible to stop the offense, and it wouldn't be impossible to get the ball going on offense. So I took the sliders there, and I have to put them into effect because playing on all Madden, it's impossible with the sliders that I adjusted, you know, before. So, player skill, QB accuracy is a 50, pass blocking is a 60, wide receiver catching is a 50, run blocking is a 60, fumbles a 45, pass defense reaction time is a 60 because our defense sucks, interceptions is a 60, pass coverage is a 60, tackling is a 55. I updated, you know, the, the receiver and the quarterback are fine. Um, the offensive line and defense are the ones that really struggle, and it's unwinnable. It's You cannot do anything with the team, with the settings they were, and with the team itself. So I have to put it up to a 60 for the offense and around 60 for the defense just to be able to give myself an opportunity on defense. Um, because let me tell you right now, except for the lucky breaks where I get a pick or I get a fumble, the defense could not be stopped. It was all bullshit, up the middle, wide open catches. You know, the defense would run amok and everything. It'd be unwinnable, and you could not do anything about it. So in order to be able to deliver a realistic opportunity where, you know, even guys that are on the defense, like Tavian Whitehead and Zaya Roundtree and, and um, uh, Matt Judson are on defense, they also want their statistics as well. And uh, they can't really get it when the uh, offensive line of the opposing team is impenetrable and impossible to break. So, uh, in order to be able to actually do something on offense and defense, I have to update those sliders. And to be able to equal it out, the CPU skill QB accuracy is a 40, because if not, they're just completing every pass except for one or two. Pass blocking is a 40, run blocking is a 40 to be able to be, you know, break through the offensive line etc so that way we can actually get some some progress on defense wide receiver rate and catching is a 40 just in case the qb accuracy is too high still fumbles is a 60 because they barely ever fumble past events reaction times of 45 i decided to take that down a little bit because i can still put the ball into plot pockets that i really want to put the ball into which is you know good for myself interceptions is a 40 because they just pick it off like willy-nilly pass coverage is a 40 because you know, they're always on the guy, so this would at least bring some separation, so that way we can get some room. And tackling's a 35, just purely because a 50 is just, they bring you down at every slot. So, obviously we rage quitted last time, because 
we were being screwed at every single point. So forgive me for quitting. I'm a pussy, whatever the fuck you want to call me. Go right ahead. Call me a cuck. I don't give a shit. All I know and all I care to say is that I'm not going to continue playing a game and end up losing a game that I was screwed out of winning in the first place. If I'm screwed out of winning and I'm, I'm not able to win because there's something going on that is unfair to myself and I is making it so that way I cannot win, then you're goddamn right. I'm going to fix it before I let anybody else screw me out of something because I'm not going to get screwed out of a win just because bullshit is ensuing, all right? And, you know, I got some very, I got very few stops throughout this entire season. I'm third down, fourth down, whatever it may be. And, you know, the run game was running all, all of us, all, all, on us all willy-nilly. It's It was bullshit. So this at least gives me an opportunity. I, I mean, I, it's still very difficult because I'm playing on all Madden, but it's at least doable. So there's the positivity on that. And Lee August is going to take the ball, and he's going to end up stepping out of bounds. So we're going to start our first drive of the new era of Madden. And I think just to kind of be a little bit different, we're going to go with a pass to start the game. And Mark August, our fullback, is going to get the ball. And that's a 10-yard pass. One for one, second and inches. Run, we're going to go with a pitch. I like this play. Oh, and we were able to zig away. You see, with other sliders, that would have been impossible for me to do because they would have grappled onto me in the first place. So, Mark August with a, what is a realistic 65-yard touchdown. And that's a missed PAT. I did it again. God. And that was a bad kick, too. And now you start to question yourself a little bit when you give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And Phil Serva and I believe Cole Foster pay piece that. We know they like to rely on their halfback, so we're gonna to try to stop the run here. We're playing escape. We're controlling Tavian Whitehead here. Oh, they're not gonna run. That's surprising to me, actually. That's very surprising because they rely on their halfback a lot. So we're gonna we're gonna be looking for that run all day long. I'm all, I'm a lot less raged right now because it's actually possible for me again. I'm not gonna get screwed right now. I don't know why I just I was running like that. I was trying to run into Cousins, but it would not allow me to. So. A sack goes back, and uh, that's that's very realistic. You know, the Redskins do not even have a great offensive line anyway. So we should have been able to block. Uh, we should have been able to break through, you know, you know, simply. And look at that. There's a stop right there. It's realistic now. I've, I've got a legitimate claim. I don't believe I had a third down stop at all against the Titans. So there's that. So, yeah. Punt goes off to Lee August. And that's going to go out of the back of the end zone. Uh, I don't like the screen idea there. I like this play. And with a legitimate idea of where I wanted to go. I was able to hit DeAndre Wallace on the outside. Well, running towards the outside from the middle. That ended up helping out a lot. Right. And you look at that. QB accuracy already comes into play. And the flag is going to be thrown. I don't know what it is. 
holding on the offense. So that's going to bring up first and 20. Owen Hernandez, the devil's number, 66, even though we don't have a 666. Um, Owen Hernandez brings up the penalty. That's going to bring us up first and 20. And William Guglielmo is going to find his way to the outside and possibly to the end zone. Yes, he will. William Guglielmo having a terrific second half of the season. William Guglielmo, 57-yard touchdown reception. And that PAT is good. The PATs have been a big, big troublemaker with Connor Dunn this season as he's missed three this season. Just, I'm just on the season alone. That's a better kick, but it's still not that great. And he's going to be tackled at the 27-yard line. Thirteen nothing, legitimately thirteen nothing. So now we're going to be playing zone, even though I have a feeling they're going to run it. Yeah, I had the right feeling. Isaiah Roundtree, I believe, is going to get credit for half that. John Goggin getting credit for the other half. We're playing man now. I don't like we we do not play man very well, which is uh, troubling when you have a defense that can't play man. It's it's troubling when you can't when you have a defense that can't play man. But uh, it gives us a uh, a hope when they end up running and we're playing man because we have an uh, we have an idea of where they want to go and we have a chance to be able to stop them on the run. Now we're playing zone just in case. And they are going to be passing it, so we do have that stop that we can get. So Kirk Cousins still 3-for-3 three three on 23 yards, um, even with the adjusted sliders, you know, the new and improved, new era, realistic sliders. I don't know what, I believe we're playing a zone here, if I'm not mistaken. Probably Cole Foster is going to take down, or is going to touch down on Deshaun Jackson after a gain of two. We're going to be playing man again in hopes that they actually fall for it. But you know what, we're, gonna, we're actually going to be playing a blitz now. Because I like the idea of a blitz just in case. And Vincent Graziano is going to be taking down uh, Antrell Davis, maybe? I'm not sure, but uh, it's one of the Davises. It's going to be third and five here, and we're going to be playing zone once again. We're going to hope to get to the quarterback before he can get the ball off. And Zaire Roundtree is going to be he's going to be stuck behind the, the line, but that's all right because Tito Nieves is going to come up for what is his fifth sack this season. Fourth and 11. And they're not going to get the punt off before the end of the quarter. Uh, before the end of the first quarter. And the end of the first quarter approaches, and it's 13-0 as the Crusaders are up against the Redskins, setting up for a punt from Travis Way to Lee August, or to the outside, or to the end zone, or to the back of the end zone. Who knows? And it's to the outside, to the outside. No, that would be around the outside. Anyway. Now, we have an idea of how of where I want to go. We're going to go with a, a pitch. I have an idea of the pitch. And it says that side of the field's open. So, I'm going to hope for 10 yards at the very least. At least as long as I can find a, uh, a spot. Nope, couldn't find a slot. That's all right. Still 62 yards on just two rushes. Mark August is having a dominant season so far. Uh, it's saying red, but I like where I'm looking. I like what I'm looking at. Okay, somebody could have stopped that man. Somebody could have stopped that man. That's all I'm going to say. Because uh, now we've got... To, well, now we've got pass. We're going to go with our reliable slant route and see if we can hit Guglielmo on the outside. If not, then I, mm, I guess we're running low on options. Oh, we can hit Guglielmo. He's going to go down the field. And he's not going to outrun every defender, but he is going to make it 
a big gain. Corey Fabiano, four for four, 154 yards and a touchdown. Doing very well, sir. Doing very well. Crusaders just having a marvelous second half of the season. And Mark August is going to run it. And you gotta give me more time to hit the button, motherfuckers. Second down and seven. This doesn't look like a play I want to run. But you know what? I'm gonna take a chance here. And Phil Serva is our guy on the rot. He's gonna lose a yard there. It's gonna bring up third and eight. I'm not gonna spam the slant route because I have a feeling they're gonna catch on at some point, but also because I don't want to be too predictable. Corey Fabiano is gonna take the ball out, and we're gonna actually go for a run here. Oh, it's a fumble. And they are going to recover it. I knew I should have slid. Uh, slid um, I should have slid. What the fuck? I knew I should have hit this and taken a slide, but could not trust it. Still 13 nothing. We're looking to stop the Redskins here. And we're going to take him down for only a gain of eight, which is going to bring up second and three. And I shouldn't say only eight. We're going to play a, a zone blitz and hope that we can stop the run. And we did stop the run. We stopped it for a loss of two yards. About a, well, I'm sorry, a loss of one yard, which is going to bring up third and four. We're going to play man here, which is ballsy because we're not a man defense. We're a zone defense. Three-four defense. So this, this can't. It doesn't look to end well, and we were able to apply enough pressure to make him throw it away. And that's going to bring up fourth down, and he is six for seven now. He's the Redskins have ran it three times, and they passed it seven times. I don't know why I'm deciding to commentate this bullshit after all of the past season where I haven't, but whatever. Lee August is going to take the ball. He's going to take the punt, and he's going to go to the sideline, and he's going to gain quite a few and bring us up to the 43-yard line. We want at least a field goal on this run. Fapiano is going to hand it off to Mark August, who is going to break a tackle, and he's going to just get back to the line of scrimmage. I have an idea of what I want to do here. I don't know. Mm, I don't like what I see on the left. But I'm going to pitch it anyway. And look at this. Boom. Touchdown for Mark August. I believe that puts him close. 200 yards. That's his 10th rush for over 20 yards this season. And the Crusaders go up 20 to nothing over the Redskins close to the end of the first half. And Connor Don kicking it off and downfield. That's going to be put into the end zone and they are going to kneel it because they are smarter than, well, a lot of teams. Anyway, um... I'm not sure what they want to do here. Maybe they want to score before they get the ball back in the second half, but I'm going to doubt it, and they're going to run it. That's what I'm going to assume here. At least going to try to waste time. And there he goes. Down. We're going to put, we're going to, well, they're actually not going to be taking it too cautiously. They're going to try to score before the end of time. And... We were able to apply enough pressure to Kirk Cousins to make him throw it away. Look at that. 7 for 9, but 47 yards. They haven't done much uh, as a parent on the ground. Or, I'm sorry, uh, uh, through the air. Which uh, is definitely a good thing for us. So it shows that we've been doing well with the passing yards and what we allow. Except for there, I, uh, I opened up my mouth a little too soon. And they complete that for a gain of 20. Now we want to continue to apply pressure, but it looks like our defense may be getting fatigued. Zaya Roundtree, especially since I've been controlling him a lot this game, 
And that's a five yard gain after the reception goes out of bounds. Actually, that's a six yard gain according to Madden. Oh well. Now I'm controlling Antavian Whitehead, who is just a muscle and is able has been oh has been able to get past the defensive line or the offensive line. This is going to be a false start on the offense. And that's gonna put him back five yards and make the drive a little bit much more to coo, to cap off. Coo, to cap off. We really want to sack here. We don't want to allow any more yards because that could allow them a field goal, and we don't want to allow them a field goal. It's probably the last thing we want to do. We don't want to allow them any points. And we're going to call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to hope for the best. We're going to play a blitz zone. Zone blitz, I'm sorry. And see what we can do here. And it's completed to Pierre Garcon, so all we really did was allow them more time with that timeout. And I'll admit, definitely not my smartest decision. Focus here, Davian Whitehead, not breaking through. I don't know who it was, I think it was Tito Nieves who had ended up breaking through the offensive line and just put a little bit of pressure on uh, but, uh, oh, well. so that means they're down to one we're playing a goal here. line blitz. Or, uh, not a goal line blitz. I'm not a goal line blitz. What am I fucking talking about? We're playing blitz. And uh, that's going to be a touchdown for the Washington Redskins. Deshaun Jackson from whatever the fuck his name is. A 14 yard touchdown. And the Redskins are able to cut into that deficit. What's his name? Yeah, yeah, you heard it, right? What the fuck was his name? Jesus Christ, did I forget his name? We're back for Redskins. What? I actually forgot his name. Anyway, whatever. I, I'll, I'll, my brain fucking, my brain spasm will go away at some point. I was about to say Brock Osweiler for a second. I was like, wait a minute, that's not the quarterback in the Redskins. What are you talking about? Um, but he caps off a drive to Deshaun Jackson. And William Guglielmo off the old reliable slant route is going to go down the field for another touchdown. Corey Fapiano and the Crusaders. 72-yard touchdown, putting this game out of reach. And the field goal is going to be, and we uh, do not complete that. I was trying to get the evened out score, but uh, oh well. Fucking kickoff goes downfield, and it's going to be taken out. Going back to the sideline. I was going to the wrong sideline. That's all right. Anyway. It's just going to be runs now. That's what I'm assuming. And they're going to go onto the ground, and they're not going to get anything. We're going to call a timeout. Just because. And they're going to stop from there. They're just going to waste time. Please tell me that's not a first down. That's fourth and one, at the very least. And it's going to expire. The end of the first half is going to come our way. 26 to 7 right now. Kick is wicked on target. Booted into the mid of the end zone. Crowder's going to take another knee. That's a boatload of touchbacks so far for Connor Dunn today. After every kickoff. 
Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. They have the ball here. And I don't like where they're going with this, but uh, we're going to play man anyway. Hope that uh, if they do run it, we're able to stop them. John Goggin wasn't the man I wanted to switch to, but that's fucking all right. Fucking cucks. Jesus Christ. I hate the developers in this game. Anyway. At least make all Madden winnable. Right, that's the first down. Exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they got to figure out a way to leverage. That's uh, offsides on the red team. Is the point of attack. Ball start offense. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and ten. Hmm. Second down and ten. Playing zone. Should be playing blitz because they're gonna. No, we're, they're not gonna run it. Okay, whoa! You should have fucked up and you should have picked that off. I swear to God. That should have been a fucking interception. No, Pierre Garcon. Don't you dare fucking celebrate. You're a piece of shit that doesn't deserve that fucking reception. I'm getting pissed off now. Bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that. Fuck you. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Stupid fucking slobbery. That's what it's getting to. We better fucking get a pick at some point in this game. I fucking deserve the pick. I deserve to get a pick. Not to throw a pick. Now we're playing blitz. We're playing all out blitz now. We're looking to stop him. What is this? What is this? Fucking bullshit. Quick throws my ass. Oh, fucking shit. I'm playing this Tito now. Okay. No. I fucking went right at Deshaun Jackson, and he just... No. Fuck you. Slant routes effective no matter who's running Fuck the this. The now we're playing with this camera angle. Here's what we're doing now. This is the way we're playing now. Now I got the fucking knees down. And he's taken down. Kurt Cousins, that's his fucking name. Brought down third and six. And they're going to get a reception. They're going to get a first down here now. Or a touchdown. They're going to get a first down or a touchdown here. Because uh, Madden is bullshit. And typical. Told you. I told you. And it's Pierre Garcon. It's the slick. Oh, you. It's the fucking cock. God damn it. And the Redskins are able to close the gap just a bit. I pressed Y, I should have jumped, you fat. Mm. I can't say that word on unitards. <sighs> and Leo gets your cuck and a fucking run forward. Alright. Look at that. Run right up the middle. Mark August for a touchdown. Touchdown, Mark August. 100-yard game back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Boom. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. 33 to 14. Fucks. I think Green Bay has the least amount of 
time of possession in what is presumably the entire league. Not just the NFC or the NFC North. Fuck that. Entire league, goddammit. If we get a stop here, then, uh, if we get a stop here, you know what I'll say? If we get a stop here and we score on the next drive, no, if we get a stop here, fuck it. If we get a stop here on this drive, then, uh, I will put Alphonse in. I'm playing Zaya Rancher too. And it hit that dude in the face. Kirk Cousins, 21 for 24 on this bullshit. What is this? I don't like this. It's not a good play for us. It's not, a, this is not our best decision. They're going to run it anyway, and it's going to be straight into the defense. Now they're going to get a first down. Um... For some stupid reason. It's gonna be stupid. Now we're playing as Matt Judson. Matt Judson. Third and eleven. They don't snap the ball like a bunch of fucking cowards. Come on. Cover three. Playing as Matt Judson again. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. And Matt Judson being able to put enough pressure to get him to throw it away. That's a fourth and 11. And, uh, oh, they're going to go for it. Okay, this is not fair. Uh, fourth and 11, we better stop him. They're going to get a first down here because it's, it's Madden. And Madden hates me. And interception! by somebody who's not even on the Holy Cross Crusaders, I don't think. Maybe he is, maybe he's not, I don't know, but it's going to be an interception. And you know what? I said it. I said we would. Corey Fapiano taking out for Alphonse Vaganji. Corey Fapiano, so far now today, has had a completion game. Look at this. 191 yards for Mark August. We gotta get to 200, man. And Mark August has officially reached uh, 1,000 yards running on the season. So congratulations to Mark August. I don't like this lineup, but uh, we're gonna go with it anyway. And Mark August with 200 rushing yards on the day. Alphonse Akanji, man. And Alphonse. Alphonse. What? That is a completion. What? That's a completion if I've ever seen one. That's bullshit. That should be a full-on completion. Alphonse, I'll admit, that should have been a completion, man. I know you're watching this video. I know you watched a lot because it had your name in it. But, uh, or in the title. But, uh... I threw it to RB, you fat. Fuck you. And just as a punishment. Just as punishment. Just as punishment for Madden being a fucking piece of crap. A fucking crummy ass whore. That's their fault. Their fault for being a fan. It's fucking bullshit, man. I threw it! I threw it! Fuck! 
fine. You want to be a faggot? I'm fine with that, Madden. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go right ahead. I'm getting pissed off now. I'm getting beyond livid with your asses now. Okay! Now I'm done! Now I'm done! That's it. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. That's it. That's it. That's it. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breland. The aggravation in my fucking voice is enough to light someone's house for a year. I'm pissed, I'm mad, and I want answers to why this bullshit happened. On the catch there brings up second Thank you down. very much. Have a good day. When Fuck you. you. A drag or a Alphonse, well, the title of this episode now is Alphonse Gets Screwed. Get significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. That's it. That's, that's, that's the title of this episode. You're welcome, Alphonse. You're the cover athlete. Man, fuck this bullshit. What is this? Alphonse, you're staying in the goddamn game, motherfucker. You're not being dropped from this game. Oh, hell no. You deserve fucking redemption, my friend. My friend. You deserve redemption. Why can't we get the onside kick? Things more interesting. You get the Fuck score, then you get the onside outside. kick. A little uphill battle still, right, but a start. It's not Fucking bullshit. But the you want to screw me out of a win? They're in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field. You wanna fucking pee you wanna be a piece of shit? You wanna be a fucking piece of shit? Alright, we'll be pieces of shit all together. One big piece of shit happy family. Alright, that's fine by me. Not going down like that. Alphonse gets screwed. That's the title, unless we lose the, the game, in which case it's we get screwed. This should not be happening right now. the back smart decision here that's close to the end zone and it brings up second down so incomplete on first let's see what's going on we're getting screwed out of this win i can tell you we're going to get screwed out of this win this game or whatever we do hard to attain but that's what they were searching for is that pass that's a sack fuck you tavian whitehead you're one of the heroes of this generation Ha 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 Fuck you. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity. Oh, we're on Pierre Garcia. John Goggins apparently our best corner. Multiple times trying to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. Gets redemption. <laughs> that should have been the title. Anyway. Alphonse, come on. You got to pick up a first down, buddy. You got to pick up a first down in this game. Alphonse, I swear to God. 
you got screwed in this game. I'll say it right now. And I'll say it. I'll say it with pride. First down. Alphonse throwing a first down, buddy. Good job. That's that's the title. That's the title of this episode. Alphonse gets screwed. Alphonse gets screwed is the title of the video. Fullback. Oh, fucking goddamn. That's it. We win. A and two is our new record. We are continuously tying with the Minnesota Vikings for first place in the NFC North. It feels good to be able to revenge or to avenge some bullshit that happened to us. Um, I uh, look at that. Eight and two. Let's, you know what, let's simulate the week uh, just so that way we can see if we actually finally get into first place in the NFC North. Because that, that would be amazing. That would be great. Nah, well, we're still tied for first place in the NFC North, um, but it's still with the Minnesota Vikings and not just all on our own, or all on our own one and a one. Anyway, with that being said, uh, Alphonse Fakanji gets screwed in this game and then gets to avenge himself um and yeah he's he's apparently he's he's ascending in the ranks he's he's kind of claiming his territory i mean i'm telling you right now Corey fabiano is still our starting quarterback but alphonse is a very reliable reliable backup and that's what all backups and the backup quarterbacks in the nfl and in football want they want to be reliable they want to be dependable and they want to be uh they want to get some opportunities so i think alphonse may have a very good chance of being the second half quarterback if we end up you know, getting out of, uh, out of grips from, you know, the other teams that ended up playing us, you know, if we're ahead by a bunch, then there's the opportunity to possibly put Alphonse in and see what he can do, maybe pad his stats a bit, he's got a touchdown, he's got five picks, but, you know, then again, one pick was, was bullshit, um, but yeah, we go into the, uh, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania next week, uh, against the seven and three, Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, we look to go nine and two. We look to re, uh, to keep first place in the NFC North. But with that being said, that does it for this episode of Holy Cross Crusaders Franchise Mode Part Twelve. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and thank you guys for the support. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'm Zach Hardy. I'm signing off.